When you're ready to present a web design mock-up to a client, there are several different options that you can consider, and each one has its own pros and cons. Now, the best option for you is going to depend on your client, that is, who you are working with. So you really just need to keep them in mind. So let's look at the options and the pros and cons for each of these. The first is that you can present an image of the mock-up in a subfolder of your site. So this could be yourbusiness.com forward slash client name. And there you would upload the image and you can send that link directly to the client to see. So this helps them as they can see the image actually online within a browser and it helps it seem more real to them. Now, the downside of this is for your non-tech savvy clients, they may not understand why the links don't work or that the image actually appears smaller than it will when you actually code the site. So it's a good idea to prepare those non-tech savvy clients ahead of time or be prepared to answer those types of questions. Now, next, you can present the mock-up as an image and you can send this via email to the client. Now, a couple of things here is that the picture may actually appear smaller. So you may need to help them see it in full view and they may just not understand why it's appearing at a certain size. They may be concerned about that. And then it can also appear with some extra space around it that they may not like, but that may not actually be a part of your design. Now, a way to get around this, if you like the idea of sending an image via email, is that you can send a full image of the full mock-up, and then you can also send some supporting images. So these images can be a picture of the actual mock-up on a desktop screen, a laptop screen, as well as a mobile device. So that way they can get an idea of how it would actually appear when someone is looking at the design on a computer. Now next, you can save an image as a PDF. You can do this within Photoshop as well as other programs. Now this does a couple of things. This also allows you to add annotations. So if you want to make notes about why you designed a site a certain way, once you've coded it, you'll be able to add those as annotations within the PDF. But there's also not as much of an expectation of the design to work like the live site will because it is a PDF. Most people, even non-tech savvy clients, are more familiar with PDFs. Now you can also use a preview site. There are many different preview sites out there like Preview Dump. And what they will do is they allow you in just a few quick steps to create an HTML preview page that you can send to clients. Now this is going to allow them to see the template as it will look after it's been coded because it will appear full size in the browser. You're not going to have to deal with size issues or the extra white space. Now a little more advanced is you can create a client dashboard on your website. So this could again be your business.com forward slash dashboard or slash client preview, whatever you want to call it. And there you can provide clients with their own unique username and password. And what you will do inside that dashboard is where you can add in the mockups as you create them. So you can post the links there, they can click on them, or you can just post the actual image, they can click on it to see it larger. And then if you upload, let's say an updated version of the mockup, you can add that there so that they can see the changes as well. And you can even take it a step further to add the link to the preview site. So when you have the design approved and you actually begin to start coding it, they'll be able to log in and click on that preview link to see the progress as you are working. And this also just makes it feel a little bit more advanced, a little bit more professional. Now, what you can also do is use a project management tool. There are so many of these out there. For example, Envision is one, and they allow you to upload your design file. And similar to a PDF, you can actually add notes to it, and you can even make certain areas clickable. So you can actually just use your design. You don't have to do any coding, and you can make it clickable so that clients can see how it actually work once you have coded the design. And then from within that tool, there's some additional features like being able to get client feedback right there within the tool and they can make their notes as well. Regardless though of the option that you choose, it's very helpful for clients to understand your reasoning behind the design. 
So you may also want to consider scheduling a call. You can then send the link over to them 10 to 15 minutes before the call and then walk through it with them. That way you can explain to them exactly why you designed their website the way that you did, help them to understand how it is going to benefit their business. And this is also the fastest way to really get an idea of what the client is thinking and get feedback from them so that you can continue moving forward and keep the momentum going with your project. So hopefully these few ideas for presenting mock-ups to clients is helpful. Again, just think about who you are actually working with and what is going to be the easiest for them as well.